All right, YouTube, we're back for the fourth round, or uh, seventh round here. We're on the play. Lost a really tight one at Grixis Shadow, so now I think we're playing for top 16. So. What does this mean? What are these What are these things around the Magic Online names mean? I'm going to keep this. We draw Fetch Land, then we get to play a turn two Shadow. Seen 14 days ago. Oh man, they're double queuing. That is so frustrating. You're just wasting my life. For any of you people that are Fortnite fans. Oh, gross. All right. We have Anger of the Gods and and uh, and Team of Battle Rages in our board to handle this. Oh, they they ripped the looting. Okay, so they still have the Amalgam, Dark Blast. Okay, but they still have the Neonate. So they have Neonate and one unknown card. All right, that was a good draw. Now, the question is, do I play this Tarmogoyf? Or do I play this Death Shadow? I think we're gonna play Goyf. Goyf's just larger. I'll save Death Shadow for a turn where I can do, you know, a couple things at a time to be more explosive. Hey, thank you. Unless I'm playing against you, and that would suck. Okay, so Dredge is back, so he's got... Okay, there's the Neon 8. Stinkwind is going to be annoying. So he's got this plus Dark Blast and one unknown. That's the unknown. I think I'm just going to attack, play Death Shadow, and hold up. I could traverse for a land. Yeah, I think I'm going to just traverse for a land. I'm going to attack first, let him block, traverse for a land, play the land, hold up the bolt to bolt myself. He does have a loam going, which is kind of his engine. I definitely need to start going pedal to the metal though soon. So he probably discards. Probably just like discards a land because he can loan it back because he's gonna dredge the stink we down. Okay, so he discards the bloodstained mire. There comes a Narc Amoeba, which gets an Amalgam. So I do need to like get a move on it, but so we got Dark Blast in his hand. 
but that but besides that we are we are we're doing okay I can like okay A little narcomio blockers He dredged back Loam, so he's got Loam, Loam, Stinkweed Imp. He doesn't have a con flag yet. Tilt. God, that would have would that have killed him? Eight, twelve. No, he'd have been at one. I'm just going to decay this. Chewing through these imps are going to suck. I don't think I can really get super aggressive with my life total. Because if he flips like if he flips a con flag, I'm pretty much dead. Okay, so he dredged Imp, so he's got Imp, he has Imp, Dark Blast, Wooded Foothills, no more Wooded Foothills, so he's got Imp and Dark Blast, okay. I'm gonna leave this uncracked. Okay, um I go shock, make them discard. They just keep dredging this thing back. And they have to chump lock this, they take four. And then I need to find a way to pump this Tarmogoyf next turn or find another removal spell. This will make it so they have less ammo to con flag with, I guess, but it doesn't really matter. We're definitely in like magic is very hard territory. <clears throat> I guess I should have shocked. I should have fetched it so we could have hit something else. So his last card's a dark blast. Pass. I 
I am gonna fetch. Well, no, I can't even. I don't have traverse online, so I'm not gonna fetch. Cause this can fetch forest if I if I rip a bloodbraid elf. Ah, oh, it's another blocker, which brings the amalgam back. Gross. He's got a blood gas too. So the land is just lethal. <clears throat> so if he finds a land, he kills me. Because of the blood ghasts. Oh wow, he's dredging. Okay, there it is. He dredges the Dark Mars Salvage, okay. Alright. Okay, so after sideboarding, we're going to cut these. I'm going to bring in my Anger of the Gods, my Battle Rages. Um, I want those for sure. I can board out a land. 58 cards. Maelstrom Pulse can take out like a horde of prized amalgams. Liliana the Last Hope picks off all the Narc Amoebas. I'm actually not super in love with Fatal Push, but I like Brutality because it kills Stinkweed Imp without needing Revolt. Okay. Is deflating. <sighs> this is very, it's got a very deflating feel to it. I would like to play first. So I get two scries, and my Tarma is going to be pretty big. Because he'll likely put sorcery in. Nah, I think I'm gonna ship this hand. All right, now we just need a shadow. We've got the rage. It's a very good hand. It's turn one delirium. So traverse. We want traverse. Okay, we can beat this hand. I'm going to leave this just for, in case we draw a bobble in our second turn. So it's turn two, play Death Shadow, which is exactly what I'm like. God damn it, are you serious? Oh, that's so bad. Blood gas. I'm gonna get Overgrown Tomb. Then cycle my Street Wraith. Keep him off, like, keep him off the Teamer Battle Rage plan. Like, try to keep that information hidden. So next turn, we're getting in for five. In the turn after that, we're getting him for 16. So, the Stinkweed Imp 
can block over the top of it. Oh man, you hit a blocker. Oh, gross. This is rough. So I drew. This is one of the cards I drew off the amp, okay? So Scourge Devil comes down in two turns. Because it costs how much to unearth? Three to unearth. So it comes down next turn. So I need to either I need to get down to I need to lose eight life. Basically. So if I attack, I mean, I've got to I've got to attack. I need to fetch this away as well. I might not even have the choice to fetch that away because if I fetch shock, take three. One. I guess if I fetch shock, take three. I go to eight, three. Five. He's gonna discard Dredge Amp. He has a blood, couple blood gas in his graveyard, so I can't fetch shock. So we're gonna draw. Well, unfortunately, we have to draw this. We can't we can't give the blood gas taste. If he has like a con flag here, I'm probably I'm pretty dead. I'm actually just super dead. He's gonna get another amalgam back. So now I'm drawing a battle. I'm drawing I could draw another battle. I could draw Anger of the Gods now. That's kind of like where we're at. So he ditched the Scourge Devil and he ditched the Con Flag. So now it's like it looks like I need battle rage or like or anger of the gods or bust. I go down to four, down to one, 12, 24, minus four. Yeah, that does it. Holy shit. Well, that was a good draw. Yeah, whatever.
Battle Rage, he blocks four of it and takes 20. these commands I think I just want I think I want more I think I'm just gonna get in and get low to the ground and get all of my spot removal there um yeah I think this is what we're gonna do it's everything that kills something Um, I got a mulligan this hand. This hand doesn't do enough for me. All right, well, there's a battle rage. So I'm going to keep that. Put this on the bottom. So this gets overgrown to him. Okay. It's not a bad draw. Gonna shuffle pretty much anything away that's not a death shadow or anger of the gods. Even a traverse at this point. Just looking for Death Shadow and Anger. Okay, so 17, 15, 13. So if I draw Fetchland Death Shadow, that's good enough. I guess that's just a redraw, so I can just keep that. So yeah, it's no different than a redraw. Starting stink we down. Okay. This goy's already pretty big. Okay, so he hit a con flag. Which is no good for the home team. He's also got a loam. Double Narc Amoeba. All right, well, at least there's no, at least there's no, uh, whatever it's called, prize them out of yet. do with this fetch land. I think I need to just get it tapped because this con flag is gonna do a lot of damage to me. Jeez. 
Alright, that's something. It's not looking good for the home team here. He looks pretty set up. He can kill my Tarmogoyf with the Conflag if he doesn't add a type. Actually, he can't, because he needs another red source. But he has to add, not add another type to the graveyard. Which means I can't block his... I can't block his Bloodgast. Unless he does something like... So we dredge loam. We just cast loam, then I can then I can block. Okay. Oh jeez, what was that? Billy just rolled up. He just rolled over. He rolled off his bed and freaked out. So gemstone. Should keep track of what he's got in his hand. And he's got gemstone, copper line gorge, copper line gorge. So now I'm free to block this uh, this blood gas. It's going to come back, so it doesn't really accomplish very much. It does let me get in with Tarmogoyf. This comes back, so the copper's gone. So he's Copper Line Gorge, Gemstone Cavern, and then me and eight. Okay. So now I think I'm going to kill the Neonate. Crash for five. Puts another type in the graveyard. Then he can use one of the con flags to kill one of my Tarmogoyfs. But with this battle rage, I think I'm gonna, I could win this race if nothing else changes. The Stinkweed Imps are going to get annoying. But if he takes a turn off from Loaming... Okay, so he's going he's gonna to hit Imp. So he dredges back Stinkweed Imp. So he's got Imp in his hand. So I think I actually want to lead with Blood Crypt. Because, okay, so how much damage is my opponent going to do to me next turn? They're going to loam up. They're going to dredge back loam to six cards. Play a land. Play a land down to five cards. Cast loam. Go to four cards. Get three lands back. Go to seven. Conflag me for seven. I take three in the air. And I die. So I actually just need to go get a fetch land. What happens if he just goes, gets loan back, and then just con flags me for six and I'm not dead? So this has got to be a basic. And I'm going to play another time of life. And I think our line of play, I don't know. Tight match. Sorry, I'm not commentating as much. This has just been like a little bit, sh a little, you know, it's tight. So a lot of mental energy goes into this. So he's got loan.
Oh, did I mess my math up? No, he still only hits me for seven. Plays a land, seven block. We got Copper Mountain, Copper Mountain. So you're gonna. He could. He might gun down a Tarmaloyf. That appears what he's going to do. At least I got a nap last match. Yeah. Okay, so there's a gemstone. We have an amalgam coming back. So he's got to have an abrupt decay. This decays one of these. block. Yeah, we're dead. Yep. Those were good games. Yep, those were good games. Draw a card, draw a card. Yeah, I didn't really have too, too much coming. Oh, that's frustrating. Started out 4 and 0 and then went to 4 and 3. Let me see where I was coming into the round. I was 23rd. Yeah, so let's just hope that I only dropped down this many spots so I get my stuff back. Oh, that was frustrating. But what are you going to do?